Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's I, the Relic of Gringo, back again with another video. And here we go, Bob Iger. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. I, I guess uh, I'll never be one of those people with an ego that allows me to act that way. Maybe that's why I am who I am and he is who he is. But when it comes to this guy, I mean, what a jerk. I mean, this guy... <laughs> I have no other place to put it. I have no other way to put it. Now, let's start out. First of all, Bob Iger, when he left Disney, you know, he had aspirations of being president. He's a politician. So let's take a look at some of the things he said in the last couple of days. And then we're going to look at Elon Musk's response to Bob Iger and the rest of uh, the big liberal tech conglomerate trying to put him down and take him out of business. Mr. Iger, Bob, decided to have a town hall with his employees what what employees got left he's fired over 7000 employees to save billions and billions of dollars i mean he didn't fire any of the executives that are making stupid decisions right no they all kept their job it's the little people who are just following orders they lost their job so bob Iger says to his employees at this town hall that they want to focus on quality over quantity like i said he's a politician that sounds good when you think about it like oh yeah quality over quantity yes that's right that's what we want bob no what he's saying is covering his ass because he's cut the budget so much they've had to reduce the budget so much the writer's strike and actor strike uh, increased costs so much they can't afford to make movies and television shows the way they were hand over fist and just throwing money out the window they can't afford it anymore so now he's got to come out and say hey we're going to focus on quality over quantity why because he's going to tell his investors something because investors might start thinking hey where's all the new content hey why aren't we making money hey oh no we're focusing on quality over quantity it's because he doesn't have the money anymore to make the shows that he did i mean look at some of the money he threw like i, I forgot what it was like 30 35 million dollars per episode for she hulk it's, you know crazy 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 money never mind the 300 million dollars for a movie 400 million dollars for a movie when you add in the advertising budget so bob Iger is just out there spinning things spinning things spinning things and now you know we knew this would happen good old bob chapek the guy that bob Iger picked to head disney when he left well now here comes all the blame bob Iger out there blaming bob chapek for everything saying that bob Iger said i was disappointed in what i was seeing during his absence, right? He was very disappointed with the transition or how the company was going. Well, Mr. Iger, you left the company when COVID hit. You left the company with really no direction, with really no no guidance. Um, you bailed. You saw a, a situation. You said, oh, I can't handle that. That's going to be too difficult. And you bailed. Like a shitty politician that you are, you bailed and left somebody else holding the bag. And as far as I'm concerned, Bob Chapek did what he could. I mean, here comes a guy and he's going to take over the Walt Disney Company, you know, the biggest media company or one of the biggest media conglomerates in the entire world. And then he's going to have to deal with a pandemic Pandemic, and then he's going to have to deal with social unrest and then he's going to have to deal with an economy that goes in the tubes and you're going to look at him and go you don't like what you saw you were disappointed well man guess what you don't you don't get to say that anymore because you bailed you bailed on your employees you bailed on your company you bailed on your customers you bailed on the theme parks you bailed on walt disney himself you bailed you're nothing but a coward who just tucked and ran and just didn't have the nuts to stand there and try and fight through the adversity like the rest of us all had to do you want to blame somebody blame yourself let's talk about the big flop the marbles well he's got something to say about that why did the marbles not succeed well sorry as he says it didn't have enough supervision on set i'm not really sure what that means he started blaming covid it was during the covid time it had a director it had producers it had Kevin Feige, right? Or are we are we pointing the finger at Kevin Feige now, Bob? Are we saying Kevin Feige's got to go? Maybe you should point the finger at Nia DaCosta. She was the fucking director and she didn't even stay to finish the movie. But again, that's Bob Iger looking to blame somebody else. You know, it's not his fault. Somebody else's fault. It's not his job. It was somebody else's job. Well, I mean, that is why he's a terrible CEO. And that is why, again, I know some people out there, they don't like Tim Cook. There's some things Tim Cook says and does that I don't like. But let me tell you something. Tim Cook stands in there. That's a CEO. That's a guy who stands in there and says, whatever's coming, we're going to deal with it. I ain't bailing. He doesn't bail on his people. He doesn't bail on his company. He doesn't bail on his message or his values, whether you agree with that or not. That's a CEO. Elon Musk, that's a CEO. 
stands in there. We're going to get to Elon in a second. David Zaslav, proven to me that, yeah, I don't like some of the decisions he's made at Warner Brothers, but he's standing in there going, we're going to be the first ones through the door. We're going to take all the shit. We're going to do what we need to do. We're going to turn it around. Bob Iger is not a CEO. Bob Iger is just a piece of crap in a tuxedo trying to run a company. And he, he's not going to do it. This is why I think Disney is going to continue to fail. And you're going to see things like Warner Brothers succeed. Apple Studios succeed. Universal continue to succeed. But I think the problem is Bob Iger. The problem isn't Kevin Feige or Kathleen Kennedy, even though they are problems. But the real problem is Bob Iger. If he really wanted to do something and be responsible for his company, then he'd do it. But he's not. So scumbag Bob Iger, I think that's why we're going to continue to see Disney go down the shitter. Bob Iger is also part of the conglomerate of tech companies that bailed on Elon Musk and Twitter or X and pulled their advertising because of a liberal Media Matters report that was basically made up. It's a bullshit study. It's a bullshit scientific study. If you read it, if you look at it, it can't be replicated. So therefore, it's a bullshit study that said Elon Musk and the Twitter platform is, you know, putting your advertising dollars next to pro Nazi propaganda. It's not true. Absolutely not true to the point where Twitter has now or X has now filed a federal defamation lawsuit against Media Matters. And in a previous video where I says it's going to get dirty between the Dems and Elon, it's going to get dirty. This isn't just about this propaganda or what side of the conflict in the Middle East you're on. No, make no mistake. Elon is not part of the group. He's not Apple. He's not, he's not YouTube or Google or all that. Most tech companies are extremely liberal. Elon, no. He's saying, no, I'm not going to be part of this propaganda machine. Well, what are they going to do? They're going to try and take him out. Of course they are. There's an election coming up. They got to take him out. So this is part one of our step one. Uh, let's pull the advertising. With no advertising dollars, X dies. You know, they ask Elon about it. As defiant as Elon can be, but a beautiful answer of why I love Elon Musk, because he's going to fight back any way he can. So let's take a look at Elon's response to Bob Iger. Advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger today. I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f*** yourself. But go f*** yourself. <laughs> Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob. Here in the audience. Well, we couldn't have said it better myself. And with that, it's going to get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. I'll continue to cover it for you. And from south of the border, I'm still your reluctant gringo. Salute. And I'll wave.